Hi, this is Christian here, your health and fitness coach uh, from vshapefit.com. Um, the topic of our video today is 10 keys to take charge of your health and fitness. Now, I've got to make two points before we go down the list. The first one is that this is a process, this isn't a quick fix. So it takes discipline, um, dedication and practice. And um, just uh, for the purpose of clarity, I need to uh, point out that I've subdivided the 10 keys into two sections. Now the first uh, five keys, the first section is the, the principal section. The second five keys of the second section is um, the action steps that we, you can take um, in order to transform your um, health and uh, fitness levels. Okay. Key principles, five key principles. First one, responsibility. Now, um, we've got to understand that the responsibility for our own health is ours. The responsibility for my health is mine, 100%. The responsibility for your health is yours, 100%. It's not the responsibility of your GP, of your wife, or of, of your uh, or husband, um, of your friends, colleagues, uh, business partners, uh, it's not God's responsibility to take care of your health. Um, it's your own responsibility. And once you, once we understand that, that gives us power. That will give you power. Because you understand and, and, and that the power to change your health is within you. And then uh, you can take the blame list uh, and, and throw it away. So no finger pointing. It's not about blaming it yourself. It's about taking responsibility. So, first essential key principle, responsibility. Very, very important. Second key essential principle is why power. And what does that mean? That means that you need to find, you need to have a reason to change your health and fitness level, to massively improve your health and fitness levels. Um, personally, I was born with it. Uh, I've been training since I remember myself. Uh, and, and it comes from my core. Um, and it's my, my mission and purpose in life to help people transform their health and well-being and ultimately their lifestyle. So for you personally, you need to find uh, what drives you, what feeds your desire and passion to transform your health and improve your fitness levels. Whether it's your um, kids um, getting healthy and fitter and you becoming healthy and fitter and leading them by example, or uh, seeing your kids have kids, or um, any other reason that recruits your heart and soul and, and feeds your long-term health and fitness goals, supports them. So second key essential principle, very, very important, um, why power? The third key essential principle is goals. Now, we all wish to be healthier, we all wish to be fitter, we all uh, desire to have six-pack, but this is, this is all good. Um, but this isn't, this isn't enough, so we need to have measurable, achievable and challenging goals in order to achieve um, something in life. And this applies to health and fitness as well. So setting goals uh, that work for us and sitting down and writing those goals on a piece of paper will make a huge difference. That has a magical power. So you need to think of your goals, you need to set deadlines and you need to write them down and put this piece of paper somewhere where you can see it at least a few times a week, if not every day. Um, because this will make a huge difference. So the third, the third key essential principle is setting goals. Measurable, achievable, realistic but challenging goals. Um, the fourth key essential principle is planning. Now, each one of your goals, whether short term or long term goals, uh, you need to create a detailed, structured plan of action steps that you can t you will take to achieve that goal. So um, after goals come planning, and, and planning is essential as this makes the process achieving your goals uh, um, um, easy and practical. Um, so you follow the action steps and you achieve your goals. So fourth key essential principle: planning. We all need to plan. The last key essential principle, number five, is staying power. Now, staying power to me means never give up attitude. We are prepared in, adv we are prepared in advance for uh, setbacks and temporary failures, but because we are prepared, we expect them to come, um, then um, they will not prevent us from achieving our goals and becoming healthy and fitter. 
Uh, we're just going to learn from them and, and, and can become better. Uh, Sig Ziglar says, uh, says that um, uh, problems, uh, the problems are called problems by the negative people, by the positive people they call opportunities. So it's your choice. Um, but um, we need to plan for them, we need to be ready for them. And when they come, we learn from them, leave them in the past and we continue towards achieving our goals. So staying power is never give up attitude. Um, beginning with the end of mind and, and, and we do whatever it takes uh, to achieve uh, our goal and to, to succeed. Stay in power, the fifth key essential principle. Now the second section is five action steps that we can take to achieve our health and fitness goals. Um, the first one is sleeping pattern, optimizing our sleeping pattern. Uh, this is this really, really essential um, when we sleep uh, we recover physiologically and psychologically, uh, the body repairs, um, regenerates itself. So, optimizing the sleeping patterns will optimize our hormonal production, which will optimize uh, our internal health, our energy levels, um, our clarity, mood, the way we feel, etc. So, the, the, the health benefits are um, endless, the list is endless. Um, to optimize our sleeping patterns, we need to go to bed ideally before 11 p.m. And, and get up in the morning before 6 a.m. Um, let's say ideal sleeping time is between 10 and 6. So 8 hours of, of deep uh, um, uh, sleep that gives plenty of time uh, to our body to completely regenerate and recover itself. Uh, 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 regenerate uh, and um, recover. Um, so, um, the sleeping pattern, um, we need to optimize, and, and, and the sleeping, the, the, the hormonal production works with a 24 hour cycle and with a daylight, and, and hence the time between 10 and, and 6. Now, the second action step that we, can, uh, we need to take uh, to improve our health and fitness uh, is optimizing our eating habits, optimizing our nutrition. Um, we can do a few things here. We need to sit down and identify the, uh, uh, the old habits, old eating habits that are taking, it, are taking us away from our new health and fitness goals and then do our best to replace them with new eating and nutritional habits that will take us towards achieving our goals, our new goals and improving uh, um, our energy levels, the way we look and feel and perform etc. Enormous benefits again. Um, so. Practical steps is, uh, before you go to nutritionist uh, or a tutor path, um, what you can do is cut down on and then eventually get rid of uh, processed foods and buy only whole foods and, and learn to prepare your food uh, yourself. Uh, don't be lazy, I know it takes time, I've done it myself and uh, this is the way to go. And the second step is once you go to uh, once you replace all the um, processed foods with health foods, the second step is to start buying organic produce. And ideally, in the near future, um, create the habit of going to a health, local health shop. Buy from health shops, it's much better. Organic food from health shops is um, the best place to buy food from. The best quality food is um, you can find in, uh, in, in the local health shops. So, optimizing your eating habits. Um, Practical step, action step number three is exercise. Now, I'd like you to think of exercise because the word exercise has been commercialized. I want you to think of exercise as movement. And movement is a medicine, like nutrition. Nutrition is a medicine, movement is a medicine as well. So, scheduling in, uh, three days a week uh, for your exercises um, required. You can start with two, but ideally with three days a week. Um, and do your best to go before work, early in the morning to the gym, or uh, all the uh, Pilates studio, or the uh, personal training studio. Uh, try in the morning, work with your hormonal production, work with the 24-hour uh, cycle to optimize your health. Um, there's a way of doing this. There's a science behind it. You, you, uh, it's not, um, we need to follow principles uh, that are proven to work. Simple. 
Um, so exercise three times a week before work, in the morning, that sets you up for the day, will improve your uh, energy levels, uh, your mood, your clarity, your uh, uh, performance, everything. So it contributes to your uh, success in life. Uh, key principle number nine, um, breathing, optimizing your breathing pattern. Now this is, in my opinion, is greatly underestimated uh, and um, we need to really uh, pay more attention to our breathing patterns because uh, we know how long we can survive without oxygen. Um, and, and that comes before nutrition uh, in terms of priority and um, uh, hydration and, and, and exercise, breathing. So <clears throat> monitor your posture on a daily basis uh, to allow yourself to uh, practice deep, slow breathing and, and, and schedule um, in your daily routine five to ten minutes. Seated, relaxed, uh, um, uh, breathing, meditation, because when you focus on your deep, slow breathing, that turns into a meditation. So um, you clear your mind and, and you deliver enough oxygen to your cells to function optimally and communicate. Uh, uh, a long list, endless list of, of, of health benefits once you optimize uh, the, the um, a proper breathing, uh, proper breathing patterns. Uh, so, uh, key number nine, optimizing your breathing patterns. And key number 10, natural healing. Now, key number 10 is optimizing the ability of our body to heal itself. When we have a flu, uh, when we have a headache, uh, cold, uh, muscle ache, joint ache, uh, whatever ache and pain, whatever medical condition, uh, please stop thinking, oh, I need to go to my GP, I need to go to the local pharmacy, oh, I need to rest, I'm, I rest, I'm weak. No, um, we need to shift our consciousness in the way we see this. We need to say, oh, I have a, uh, um, this condition. There's no disease. Everything is a condition, you know. They call it this disease. No, no, it's a condition, and every single condition on planet Earth is curable. We just need to find out how. And following the principle and, and, and taking our individual, individuality uh, um, in uh, taking our individuality when, when we work on ourselves. Um, so um, when you have all these symptoms, think, oh, uh, what can I do now? I'm going to go to my uh, local health and uh, health shop and see what herbs I can get, what tinctures I can get. Uh, what healthy food I can introduce into my diet to make me feel better, to nourish me on a cellular level. Um, oh, um, I, I'll go to a um, um, massage therapist, I'll go to a naturopath, I'll go to a homopath, I'll go to a nutritionist, um, um, and, and, and other uh, uh, health uh, experts. Uh, so, shifting the way we perceive our health uh, and, 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 and working on the roots to uh, address the, um, the cause of these conditions and not mask the uh, symptoms. That's what we're trying to do and, and enable our body to heal itself. So um, those are the 10 key um, steps um, or 10 keys you can take to take charge of your uh, health and well-being. Um, I absolutely believe in them. Um, I strictly follow all of them and, and the, the benefits are enormous. They have transformed my health, my, my well-being uh, and my, my, my thinking really. Um, so that's how I work with my clients and I hope and I believe actually that I, I've been helpful to you and, and have, I have definitely planted the seed in your mind and I hope the seed will grow and bear fruits. So um, it was a pleasure um, coaching you, helping you. Uh, on your way to extraordinary health and fitness levels and energy levels and, and, and once you do that, once you transform your health and fitness levels and energy levels this, have, this will have an enormous impact on all the people in your life uh, so this is not a selfish act on the contrary, by taking care of yourself you can take care of the people around you um, and lead people towards better health and, and, and fitness I encourage you to take um, action today, not tomorrow. Start taking action today. Create your plans, goals, etc. Start taking action and start transforming your health and well-being. Um, visit my website, Vishay Fit, and my blog and read the articles. Um, I've done it for you uh, to uh, um, learn and, and benefit, to add value to your life. Thank you.